Happy Monday, friends. Yeah, I skipped Sunday. Um, I think the last time that we talked, it was Saturday when I wanted to go into Target to um, let the storm pass us before we hit the road to come back home. Well, I slept in on Sunday. No regrets <laughs> at all. And I had one main thing on my to-do list, and that was just to do laundry and to spend time with my sewing machine and my mom cave. I needed to replenish some bags on my site and I was so inspired yesterday to do it and that's what I did and I didn't pick up the camera. However, I do want to show you what I did with the dance costume that I showed you on Saturday. I love how it turned out. I wish I could um, find more of that fabric which I'm sure I probably could. I could um, <laughs> beg the other dance moms to send me their stuff. But I'm gonna show you that. Um, today I work remote with my nine to five. I woke up and just did work in bed. And that's the luxury of doing remote work. Um, but the downfall to that is I tend to wake up, when I wake up like on a normal day to get dressed I just <laughs> wake up maybe 6 6 30 and I'm immediately on emails um, and then before I know it it's time for the girls to get out and I've already worked two hours before work be actually began so I um, took some time got dressed and I do need to run into my office today to grab some things to work um, diligently here at home and this evening, the girls have dance and tumble. Um, I may take you there. I mean, I sit in the car. And because they're big girls, they, they don't need me to walk in with them. And tonight, the Arkansas Razorbacks are in the big eight, final eight. It's something eight. Um, I'll just say they're doing good. They've won whatever they needed to win to be in the eight. They play very late tonight, like 9 o'clock, so I need to get the girls fed, and um, I may stay up a little bit to watch that with my husband. The neighbors are going to um, gather. I'm sure it's just going to be probably the dads, so I may let him go on and do that so I can uh, wind down tonight. Um, I did not plan my week. I love to use my Sundays to plan my week. And I did not do that yesterday. I mean, the only thing I did yesterday was sew. Um, should have organized fabric, but the only thing I had in my mind was to do my laundry and to sew, and that's it. So I am going to take you around. I don't know when I should end the vlog, though. I guess it would have been ideal for me to do Saturday and Sunday and, and made it like a weekend thing, so I don't know. Um, I know that I just need to <laughs> keep saying it. Pay more attention to my channel. I love recording. It's just when things get so busy, I am not intentional about grabbing my camera. And then I think that my life is not even exciting, which I also hear other vloggers say. Well, um, and then I just have to get used to talking to me, you, the lens. I have to get used to that. So just join, join along, and let's see what the day brings. Okay, here is what I did with the fabric. These cute, oversized coin purses turned out really cute. Remember, this was a shirt. It was one side of a shirt. And I don't know if it's picking up on here, but it's like some lace detail and the glitter just pops through the lace. Well, I um, could make big bags because it was only one side of the shirt and I already had this beautiful gold metallic faux leather. It's just a vinyl fabric. I put that on the back so that when you lay it down, you know, if it happens to get dirty and you need to wipe it off, this is very easy to clean. And I'm trying to get a good grip here. 
um, I have this pull with a gold D ring that you know I mean you can add a wristlet strap to it or a charm or one of those little puff keychains and then it has a black zipper now let me see if I can open it up I'm gonna do it with one hand and then I lined the inside with this gold and white cotton fabric on the inside these measure about five inches it's about five by five um, definitely five inches in width and then it's probably a five five and a quarter height but y'all it turned out really really good and I just have it up against this white um, board because I needed to take some photos for the website but last night I was able to get five bags done with this and I still have some more fabric I don't know if I wanted to continue with the oversized coin pouch or if I wanted to use the others for uh, maybe some bags of this size so this is another bag that I made that I'm going to add to the site I love it it's perfect for spring it um, is just a small pouch you can put pens pencils loose change or snacks <laughs> you know if you want to put your pack of gum maybe some mints or um, your lipstick debit cards and then on the back it has this pretty light pink metallic faux leather vinyl on the back and I wanted to see if I liked it with the light pink zipper and let me open the oh I don't have to open the inside there's one open but here's the one with the light pink zipper and here's the one with the hot pink zipper I actually like the hot pink I think it's a good contrast up against you know this fabric but y'all yeah, these turned out so stinking cute and the inside of it is lined with this navy polka, this navy polka dot fabric. And I want to say it's white, but it's not. The polka dots are actually cream. And it complements the fabric pattern very, very well. So these are some of the things that I worked on yesterday. I've already got them listed on the website and if I didn't have such a busy day today with work and dance after school I would get back to the sewing machine today but at least I was able to get it in yesterday okay so before I head out today I'm going to make my new favorite drink and you saw me make this on Saturday and it's just the dark roast unsweetened iced coffee with the Cold Stone Sweet Cream Creamer. I've already added my ice to my cup. And I'm excited about it. I was not expecting for it to be as good as it was. Um, because I am just so fixated on the white chocolate mocha. And I like the International Delight brand because I am lactose intolerant and this does not contain dairy products and it's very sensitive to my stomach. So I prefer the International Delight. I did see the white chocolate mocha in the Starbucks brand, but I just can't tolerate it. That's so unfortunate because that is my absolute favorite flavor. But this, <laughs> this does it for me. Wow, I've been missing out. And I do like dark coffee, but I like dark coffee sweetened a lot. <laughs> okay, I think I'm good to go. Wow. Let me know. If you're into iced coffees and 
what brands you like what flavors do you like sorry i had it so the camera's still low So let's chat. I am in Carline. It's, um, we're halfway through the workday and it's now time for me to pick up my girls from school. I made it here a little bit early today and I brought my camera along. I don't have anything to say other than um, if I pick up the camera again, it's probably gonna be me in my car because like I mentioned earlier, we have dance and tumble tonight and I'm usually on um, chauffeur duties on Mondays because I'm a little bit more flexible than my husband is. Um, and, you know, and I don't mind being busy on Mondays. And, you know, there's some times where there may be a Thursday or a Friday that is extremely busy. But I remember, and you'll see me looking um, looking up because I'm wanting to make sure that I am not the one car that's not driving forward to pick up their kid. But I remember pre-COVID where we were extremely busy. Every day was something. It was hustle culture. Hustle, hustle, hustle. You know, working full-time job, managing a business, not getting enough sleep, enrolling the kids in absolutely everything, signing on to be on committees and boards, husband, you know, just as busy and he has a business plus his full-time job, which is busy within itself. It was just a busy, busy, busy time in our life. And prior to COVID, if COVID never happened, let me say that, if COVID never happened, we probably would still be in the rat race. And I experienced so much anxiety before March of last year. It took me some time. I still had, you know, anxiety follow me months after because of the unknown and the craziness of the disease and having to, you know, navigate life totally different than we ever had to in my lifetime was kind of tough you know but goodness gracious we were so bogged down with so much to do so many places to be and was it all worth it you know I find myself questioning now was it really worth it to be in that rat race is that something that we are going to have to entertain again when um, the mandates are fully lifted and we don't have to worry about the CDC guidelines? Is the rat race coming back? Or should we just be more mindful about what it is we do? All of that from sitting in car line and it's time for me to drive and I'm going to leave you on that note <laughs> you know I'm okay with the occasional busy Monday and plus an additional day out of the week but you know something tells me that when things open back up it's gonna get busy again <laughs> And I don't look forward to that. All right. I'll talk to you later. We'll be back in the car. What a day. 
So I, um, we're back. We're back. Hmm. What a day. We are back. I forgot my camera because, you know, <laughs> forgot the camera, went to dance and, um, didn't sit as long as I thought I would. I guess I was distracted. I was watching TikTok and TikTok, I mean, it's like a rabbit hole. You start on one video and you can't stop at one. Um, did that, now back at home. The Hubs has dinner um, going for us. Now I'm just going to make sure that the girls wind down for the day and get ready for bed. I am going to do the same thing. I'm going to end the vlog here. Thank you so much for coming along. I don't know. I can't call it a weekend vlog, but it is a vlog. And um, I was able to show you some creative things in it. So, you know, I'm pretty proud of that. And until next time, because I will upload another vlog very, very soon. I'll talk to you later. Don't forget to like this video, subscribe if you have not already, and go ahead and hit the notification bell so that you'll be notified of upcoming videos that I have coming your way. All right, I'll talk to you soon. Bye. Thank you.